communicating with parents throughout the school year is extremely important. With Alert Solutions, school administrators can send messages to student families from directly within their PowerSchool application. In this video, I will show you how to create an email message. To get started, click on the Alert Solutions 2 link in the Functions menu on the left-hand side of your screen. Then, click on the Create New Message link in the top navigation. You will first be asked to select a list of contacts you want to send this message to. You can also select multiple lists if you would like. Once your list is selected, you will need to complete these fields on the screen. If you want to send out your message immediately, you do not need to update the send date. If you are scheduling this message for a future date and time, simply click in the field, adjust the date and time, and click Done. Next, select which category your message will fall into. For this example, I'm going to create a school closure alert so I will select the school closure category. Then, give your message a name that will help you identify the message. For this example, I will use weather related school closing. We're creating an email message today, so we're going to uncheck voice and SMS at the bottom of the screen. This way, the system knows to only send out an email message to the individuals on the list I selected earlier. The final step is to type in your message content. Simply enter in the message in the content field. I'm typing school is closed today due to inclement weather. Please keep your student at home. If you would like to personalize the message, you can insert merge fields using the drop down here. Once you are satisfied with your message, click send message to schedule your alert. It's that simple. Now, Alert Solutions also gives you the ability to really customize your message. For more advanced options, instead of clicking Send Message, you can click the Edit button below the email checkbox. Before we review all the new features, let's take a look at the top of the screen. You'll notice that many of these fields are already filled out. These fields are being populated from your profile settings. You can leave these fields the same or change them on the fly if you would like. For this example, I'm going to leave them as is. Simply enter in a subject line for the message, such as weather related school closing, and the message content. School is closed today due to inclement weather. Please keep your student at home. Now, let's review the new features. This editing toolbar gives you a lot of flexibility. You can change the font type, size and color, add bullet points, hyperlinks, tables, and more. If you would like to use a template for this email, you can select one from the Insert Templates dropdown. If you would like to personalize the message, you can insert merge fields using the dropdown. If you would like to insert an image into your email, you can select one from the dropdown here. If you would like to insert a link into your email, you can select one from the Insert Link dropdown. If you would like to attach a document to this email, click the Upload Attachments button at the bottom of your screen and then locate the file on your computer. Once a file is selected, click Finish. Once you are satisfied with your message, click Send Message to schedule your alert. You'll notice that this new success screen asks users who have social media set up if they want to share. After you have created your email message, users will then be asked if they want to share their broadcast on social media. If the answer is no, simply click the No Thanks button. If the answer is yes, simply click the share button and follow the prompts. To learn how to share your broadcast via social media, please watch our sharing a message on social media help video. This is how to create an email message using Alert Solutions.